Welcome to our reference design section. My name is Frank D'Agostino and I am a consulting systems architect for Cisco's data center team. In this module we cover how implementing unified fabrics using Cisco's new Nexus platform can provide operative efficiency gains. The Nexus platform enables a user to consolidate LAN and SAN infrastructure into a single chassis. There are a number of green implications as a result of bringing two boxes into one. There are also facility considerations that should be addressed in preparation for consolidation. Anytime you consolidate equipment, density increases, power and cooling becomes more centralized, and facility teams need to plan for this. Make sure you're involving your facility counterparts in planning for the deployment of the Nexus platform. The benefits derived from implementing unified fabrics with the Nexus family include an immediate efficiency gain in reducing the total cable count in the data center, which may hinder air distribution assuming a race floor installation. In terms of unified fabrics impact on the server domain, there is an efficiency gain potential in reducing connections to the server. A typical virtualized server configuration requires multiple NICs and HBAs that will consume 20 to 35 watts while utilizing six to eight connections on average. Comparing this traditional design with Nexus and Unified Fabrics, you may realize a 60% increase in bandwidth using converged network adapters with a power profile of 10 to 25 watts per server. Server adapter consolidation is further enabled through the ability of the Nexus family to enable fiber channel over Ethernet or FCOE. FCOE allows for 10 gigabit line rates across a lossless Ethernet infrastructure, which we call Data Center Ethernet, or DCE. This increases the efficiency of the server application delivery by removing bo performance bottlenecks and enabling each server for SAN access without having multiple isolated adapters. The details of this model represent significant potential savings and higher efficiency for data center operations. The model shows a greater than 16% improvement in power, 60% fewer active devices to manage, and better than 60% reduction in overall cabling. While these benefits are immediately recognized, the potential server savings may create a larger benefit. Removing the I.O. bottleneck and isolated adapters has the potential to increase the number of virtual machines you can run on a single server. This results in a reduction of the total number of physical servers. A greater server consolidation rate will produce a much better net present value and potential savings. Thank you for your interest on the very important topic of unified fabrics and data center consolidation. Stay tuned to Cisco Systems leadership in data center Ethernet, fiber channel over Ethernet, and lossless Ethernet infrastructure.